Hey guys, today we're taking a look at yet another backpack. I have here the Tamrac Jazz 84. And this is kind of a traditional backpack, but you can hold a ridiculous amount of stuff inside. But on top, you've got a grab handle. The bag itself is made mostly of polyester, which is of reasonable quality. I think this bag comes with a five-year warranty from Tamrac, so that's pretty good. On the back, you've got two uh, traditional backpack straps and pretty thick padding and a couple of hooks here where you could, uh, I suppose, hook a lanyard if you wanted to carry something along with you on your pack. On the side of the pack, they've actually got some kind of strap accessory system. Apparently, they make accessories that you can clip on to the side of the pack. I have not used this system, but, you know, for those of you, of you who are into that, they're out there. And you also have two sort of uh, mesh pockets on the side that have a nice elastic grip on the top. And these are perfect, obviously, for water bottle. You could also put uh, your sunglass case in here. And they really hold the items inside uh, pretty tightly. So I would actually feel fairly confident even putting some batteries or so forth in there if I wanted to. On the outside of the pack, there is a really nice zippered pocket that holds a surprising amount of stuff. I mean, I've got some spare SD cards in here. I've got lens wipes, got my phone. I also have an iPad. This thing will hold up to a 10 inch tablet in its uh, little side pocket. Obviously the stuff here is fairly exposed to the outside. Uh, this is a thin pouch with no padding on the outside. But when we get to the main event, let's open up the main cavity of the pack and you're gonna see just how much gear this thing will hold. Voila, you can put an entire system in here practically. Uh, you got two mesh pockets on top, which right now I'm using for like spare camera straps, some lens wipes, some cards, that sort of stuff. I like these mesh pockets. They're very useful and I like that you can see inside to get an idea of what's stored in there. And here's the main event. The main cavity of the pack has a pretty nice system of thickly padded foam dividers. These are attached with Velcro to the pack, so you can rearrange them however you like. But there's just uh, acres and acres of space in here. At the moment, I have a D7100 DSLR. Uh, it's got a 35 millimeter lens attached to it. I have three other Nikkor lenses, and you see I really have room for another Nikkor lens if I wanted, or if I had a larger zoom lens that would fit in here. I've got my rocket blower, I've got a tripod, and I've actually got room to spare. I mean, you can fit a ridiculous amount of stuff, and you could probably fit two camera bodies and three or four lenses in the main cavity of this pack. So overall, I think this pack is actually a great value because the prices on these packs are dirt cheap. Uh, you can pick these up around the $30 price range. And I think for 30 bucks to get such a full featured backpack, you really can't go wrong. So this is the Tamrac Jazz 84 pack. I use this really to store a lot of camera gear and just to take it from point A to point B. I have a lot of confidence that whatever is in here, especially that's inside the main cavity, is gonna be very well protected. And just the amount of stuff that you can haul is, is quite impressive. So, uh, you know, the only thing that I see that's missing, unfortunately, there's no real place to attach a bigger tripod to the exterior of the pack. Although you could probably rig up something using one of these side straps and maybe that's what uh, tamrac had in mind that's a tamrac jazz 84 pretty good uh, solid backpack great value five-year warranty if you want to check out other reviews of this pack i will put a link in the youtube description for this video and i'll also link to some other tamrac packs as always thanks for tuning in guys if you're new here, please subscribe because I'm going to be reviewing many more bags and backpacks in the future. Lolo ho! If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, 
don't forget to subscribe.